Video game cartridges. Why do collectors love them so much? Well, for starters, they're just really unique and specific to the consoles they're played on. These games all had very specific plastic molds, and when you see one, you instantly know which system it's for. I mean, a disc is a disc, but when you see one of these, yeah, you know it's a Nintendo game. You ever go to a thrift store and see, like, PlayStation games mixed in with the music CDs? Or even GameCube games mixed in with the DVDs? Well, I sure have, and you're definitely not as likely to see game cartridges being confused for a different type of media. Plus, if you're a fan of retro games, then there's a good chance that you're a fan of the retro aspects of it. Part of what makes a game cartridge look cool is that it looks old, because you don't see cartridges for games anymore. At least not like these ones, but more on that later. The game's artwork is generally more emphasized on a cartridge as well, with the artwork being scaled back on discs. Plus, there's just something satisfying about physically plugging a cartridge into a system that harkens back to your days of being a little kid. Like, yeah, this is how we did it in the good old days. Cartridges also feel like they can stand on their own. Having the box and manual are nice, but it's not like a CD game where it needs protection without its case and just feels sort of incomplete and barren. I know a lot of collectors who will collect just the cartridges of games, but not many who will collect just the discs for games. I mean, a binder of game discs just doesn't look quite as nice as a bunch of cartridges. There's also some more practical benefits to cartridges as well. The biggest one people like to point out is that there are no loading times. Well, at least for the most part there's not. The reason why no loading times are nice is because loading means waiting, and waiting sucks. I mean, they're not the end of the world, but you just get an overall snappier experience without them. Oh, also check this out. Did you hear anything? No, you didn't because cartridges run quietly. Now, my Dreamcast could afford to be greased, but my point remains. There's just a lot more going on with disc-based systems. More moving parts, and more things to potentially break. Now, cartridge-based systems aren't indestructible, but they're pretty dang reliable, and you should be able to get decades of life out of them by just avoiding some very common sense no-nos. Don't do it! As for the reliability of the cartridges themselves, yeah, they're pretty reliable too, and all you really gotta worry about is keeping the connective part of it clean, which I've always done with just basic rubbing alcohol. Discs, on the other hand, are more well known for having trouble being red, due to scratches, pinholes, and even being cracked if you're really not careful. Yeah, it does happen. One of the more interesting cases of cartridges versus discs would have to be the time of the PlayStation and the N64. Now, as many of us know, the PlayStation was originally supposed to be an add-on for the Super Nintendo, but the deal didn't work out, causing the PlayStation to become its own system and Nintendo to make yet another cartridge-based system. This is considered part of the reason why Nintendo lost a lot of their third-party support. And the reason is because discs are cheaper to manufacture and can hold a lot more data. This was considered a loss for Nintendo at the time, but funny enough, the cartridge aesthetic and reliability is actually preferred by some collectors nowadays. Nintendo did eventually make their way to disc-based media in their usual Nintendo kind of way, but things made their way back to cartridges. Much, much smaller, but still cartridges, now that it's possible to make them with large enough storage capacities to be a viable option. As that technology gets cheaper, the process of having data read off of discs with a moving laser will seem outdated. Okay, so cartridges. What do you think about them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you not care? Let everybody know in the comments, and I will see ya in the next video.